Hi, this is Mohan Vamsi. I'm a business intelligence consultant. In this video, I like to explain level dimensionality in MicroStrategy. I picked up two important topics in level dimensionality and I'm going to demonstrate them practically. Before starting this video, the viewer should have good understanding of creating attributes, metrics, parent-child relationship in MicroStrategy. So I'm going to demonstrate by creating a new report. I'm creating a blank report. I'm dragging and dropping region and call center. In this report, I want to calculate revenue over region and call center. So. Okay, here is the output. So when I when I go into the SQL view, so. In the SQL, uh, it is summing up the revenue over region and call center view. That's fine. And this report is behaving as we anticipated. Save and close. And click on save. Okay. Here is the report. Now there is a requirement to show the calculated metric at region level so once again I'm opening the report so if you look at here the revenue is calculated over region and call center so now, now the requirement is to show the revenue at region level for that, I have created a revenue metric at region level. So, so, so I dragged and dropped revenue into the into the definition, and uh, I clicked on level dimensionality, and from the attributes, I picked up region into the level dimensionality window. So here I left filtering and grouping as standard because I, I don't have anything any any report filters on the on this report. So I just I just added the region into the level dimensionality window and save and close. If you have filters on your report, then changing the filter options into absolute ignore and none will affect your report display. So save and close. I'm going back to the report. Now, I'm dragging and dropping region level revenue metric into the report template. And here we can observe the region level revenue is calculated at the region level. So if you look at the SQL view, here it is. The sum of revenue is over the region. Coming back to the grid view, if you look at here, under central region, there are two call centers. So sum of revenue of these two call center is this much and it is same across the entire region I mean it is at the region level so irrespective of the call centers that are displayed over here the revenue in this column is calculated at the region level 
whereas in this column in the normal revenue metric the revenue is calculated at the both at both region and call center level because call center is a ch child of re region so we should say at call center level and the display of this revenue metric simple revenue metric will always change if you add some other dimension dimensional attribute say like customer or item now there is another requirement where user came back to me saying that you are hitting a wrong uh, fact table so if you look at here in the sql view i am hitting a fact table called city center sales but the user says the data in this is not correct and the right data is in item sales so to achieve that functionality i have created another metric which is at item level revenue at item level so in this into the into the editor i just dragged in uh, revenue fact and at the dimensionality level i dropped item into the level dimensionality and as i'm not using any report filters i made it as none and i don't want any kind of grouping to be performed at this level i just want item sales fact to be considered in the joints so i just want item to be in my level dimensionality but i'm not using item for any kind of display purposes so in my report i am adding revenue at item level it will be easy if i move it to the left okay so here i am getting into the grid view yeah if you look at here we have the same output at both revenue and revenue item level because my user assumption is wrong because the data which is existent at call center level and the item level is perfect but if you look at these both columns in this column the calculation is made at call center sales fact table level in this column the revenue uh, the revenue calculation is made at the item sales fact table level so to see that get into the sql view okay if you look at here the first fact table is calculated using city center sales fact table whereas the second item revenue is calculated at item employee sales table so this is the level dimensionality enables the level of attribute at which a metric should be calculated this is an overview of level dimensionality we have different options as i showed before they have different options at the filtering level like standard absolute ignore none and at the grouping level we have standard none begin fact and fact so there are more options in that please try with different combinations and for sure you will see the variations in the metric values thank you so much for viewing this video please write to me at wamsi27@gmail.com if you have any questions or suggestions